Jalen Brown is a first-team All-American this year. Now stay tuned to find out who joined him. Well, welcome into the Core Report. I'm Zach Poff. And this sexy guy to my right, the oh, one stop. and only Chris stop. the Stonebreaker. Keep going. Now, stop. Hey, hey, no, I'm going to end Keep right there. Going. Now, the high school basketball <laughs> yeah. season is finally over, so yeah. now we get to start dishing out the awards and stuff. And we got a special yep. show today. We're going to take a look at the first team All Americans. And boy, these five guys can ball. They can ball. And I had the honor to see all five of them last week at the McDonald's. How was all that, night. by the way? It was amazing. It was a bucket list experience for Crossed me. Crossed it off. Crossed it off. Got to see. Everything from the behind the scenes of how it went on to even the game yeah. and interview the kids. And let me tell you this, all five of these kids are supreme individuals athletically and as people and they're well deserving of the honor that they're going to receive from us as being first team All-American. I'll tell you what, Stoney, let's go ahead and start the list. Uh, we got to start with our Max Preps National Player of the Year. And I, I like to call him the high riser from down under, the one and only Mr. Ben Simmons. The six foot nine Hooper from Australia led Montverde Academy to their third consecutive Dicks national title, and the future LSU Tiger balled out averaging 27, nearly a dozen boards, and over five dimes a game this year. And Stoney, I don't know if you're going to agree with me on this, we'll but see. I think the six foot nine Simmons is the best passer in the country. You, you agree with that or not? He very well could be. At that size, he can see over the defense. He's very well adept to getting in into the lane and passing Great and creating for himself. Exactly. But what I like most about Ben Simmons w. and him being our national player of the year, yeah, it comes down to W's and it comes down to that's what he wants. It's not the individual accolades. It's not the stats. Even though all of that comes when his team gets the W's, he only lost one game his entire career at Montbird. 62 other times, he came out with a W. And that's what I was really impressed with when talking to him. At such a young age, he understands that there's more than just, hey, I averaged 25 and 12. Yeah. It's, hey, I had 62 Ws, three national championships, and uh, that was what was most important. I tell you what, Johnny Jones is hoping he does the same thing for LSU next year because he's heading to Baton Rouge. And I tell you what, man, he's going to be a fun guy to watch. And I tell you what, also, he might lead LSU to the number one spot in the SEC rankings next year with all those Kentucky Wildcats going to the NBA draft. So many undecided players still to make their decisions, so they might get a, a pretty good squad at LSU if they can pull some more. And the, the one guy, you're wondering, at home, the one guy you're wondering at home that beat Ben Simmons? Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown, and we showed him at the very beginning of the show doing that right Ooh, there. Jalen Brown is rinse. from Wheeler High in Marietta, Georgia. He is a 6'7", 220-pound small forward who led the story Georgia program to the City of Palms Classic and Georgia Class 6A titles, putting up 28 points and 12 rebounds per game. The undecided senior is known for his exceptional driving abilities. His tenacity on the offensive side of the ball never stops as he continues to put pressure on the defenders with his superb athleticism and strength. You couple that with a newfound jumper and you got yourself a pretty complete player on the wing. And I'm looking forward to see wherever he goes because they're going to get a stud of a player. People compare him to uh, Stanley Johnson because he kind of is built like him, has a similar hair to him. Justin Winslow, so we'll see how exactly he does next year at the next level. I'll tell you what, another guy I'm keeping my eyes on to see where he goes, and that's my guy, Mo Buckets, the one and only Malik Newman who made the first team. This kid can absolutely score the rock at Callaway High School out in Jackson, Mississippi. All he did was get his Stanley Johnson on by winning not one, not two, not three, but four consecutive state titles. And this year, the six foot four guard averaged nearly 30 points, six boards, and five helpers. And Stoney, I got a bold prediction for you. I think yeah. Newman is going to Kentucky now with everyone leading town for the NBA draft in Lexington. You can book it. That's tough to say because I know uh, the boys from LSU were trying real were, hard going to him. get him to come their way, and that would be quite Unlimited a range. nice team to have him, Blakeney, and Simmons Oof. going one, two, three. But they Oof. LSU lost their big guys, so we'll see what yeah. you know will fill in there. Anyways, another team though that usually loses people but and then fills the next yeah. year. Oak Hill Academy in Mouth of Wilson, Virginia, and they have another first teamer once again. This time it is 6'6", 200 pound senior guard, Dwayne Bacon, Baconator, whom is headed to Florida State in the fall to be a Seminole. He's only the 11th McDonald's All-American to ever do that. His stock <laughs> soared this winter as a scorer extraordinaire, and he put up 24.4 points 
per night for Oak Hill Academy. The team that finished 47 and one. Their That's lone nuts. loss at the end of the year in the Last Dicks Nationals the <laughs> championship game to Montverde. Yeah. And of course, Ben Simmons, our national player of the year. Bacon was the MVP of the Bass Pro Shops Tournament of Champions in January. He has the ideal frame and ability to be an effective scorer next year at Florida State yeah. because he can get to the lanes, he's a slasher, and he finishes well with that strength. Yeah, it's going to be nice with him and Beasley going down to Florida State, but a guy I was very happy to see pop up on the first team All-American list, and that was Isaiah Briscoe. Now, this kid can absolutely ball. And I love the nickname our basketball editor, Jason Hickman, came up with, Big Game Briscoe, because he's one of the most clutch dudes in the game. He led Roselle Catholic to an NJSI AA title this year. And Stoney, I was very impressed with Briscoe's performance at the 2015 McDonald's All-American game. This kid is dynamite with the rock. John Calipari is getting a big time talent in Briscoe, who should be one of their best players next season. Man, these are five just dynamic Ballers. Dynamic and Briscoe going to Kentucky filling in for the Harrison Twins. Yeah. That's going to be nice. He can be out there like a Tyler Eulis Briscoe type combination yeah. at the top and he can really make an impact his freshman year. Well, I'll tell you what, Stoney. What is it? It was a, a very fun show. Yeah. And also, too, just go ahead and read the article, too, if you want to find out who the second team and third team All Americans were. Studs on that team as well. I don't know how he. Alonzo Trier's on the third team. That's how good these lists are. Well, that's all the time we got on the court report for Chris Stonebreaker. I'm Zach Pop here on MaxPreps.com, America's source for high school sports.